Chinese scientists have created an artificial sun. And the latest experiment in the Man Made Sun project saw it run for 20 minutes at 70 million Look, degrees. I'm sorry, I've lost sound That's completely. five times hotter than the real sun. A city in China has a bright idea, as in eight times brighter than the moon. China wants to launch a fake moon into the sky by the year 2020. Announced last week at an innovation conference. Get this, it's actually a satellite that would reflect the sun's rays at night. It will reportedly be eight times brighter than the real moon and could replace street lights. However, astronauts are concerned about the increased light pollution it could cause. But wait, there's more. <laughs> This is crazy. China has also just taken nuclear technology to a whole new level by flipping the switch for the first time ever on a new fusion reactor. It's called the Tacoma Reactor. This thing is so powerful, it, it's literally being called an artificial sun because it creates a powerful magnetic field that fuses hot plasma to reach temperatures of more than 150 million degrees Celsius, which is said to be, oh, 10 times hotter than the core of the sun. In 2018, the East achieved a temperature of over 100 million degrees Celsius. That is more than six times as hot as the core of the Sun. And it sustained the temperature for 10 seconds before shutting down. It is not a Sun on the Earth, yet it realizes wild and intense nuclear fusion. But it needs a harness to contain the energy. The Chinese came up with a key technology magnetic field with superconducting. It lasts long and uses minimum amount of electricity. The tokamak is a success and a stepping stone toward a real fusion reactor. And it's sustained. The team here aims to make China's own nuclear fusion reactor. The ambition is to solve engineering problems to produce more energy for longer time. But there is a big problem. It's not worth it. So far, all machines have used more power to make fusion than those produced by fusion. To make fusion a viable energy source, the devices need to become much more efficient. ITER promises to get us there. ITER is the world's largest tokamak underway, supported by 35 countries. Today, we learn that they've made a new sun, indeed 10 times hotter than the core of the sun, through a fusion technique which produces no waste, cannot be stolen and misused by anybody else. Time will tell on what unfolds here, but I think a lot of other countries around the world will be watching China very closely, and China's really trying to lead the world here and set its mark by creating this artificial sun and setting the, you know, creating this technology that will lead the world. But I think a lot of people will be watching very closely as it's still in the developing phases of it, Corey. Fusion is a bold idea. It will elevate human energy use into new dimensions. But like all next generation technologies, the process is very humbling. We ran into problems, we got frustrated, and we moved on. Like making nuclear bombs or landing a man on the moon, we choose to do it because it is hard, extremely hard. And everything good is hard to get. And the scientists from China and the rest of the world are working together because they believe Fusion energy will be energy of the future, and that future is coming. It is basically building their own sun. Now, we all knew that the sun rose in the east, Rick, but this is really literally now true. China, 在目前国际上是最先进的，而且是我们一直保持着这方面的。Every once in a while, George, 
we do the kinds of stories in this business where it makes you want to open your eyes and go, oh my God, really? Have we reached this time? This thing that, you know, older guys like you and I have only been reading about in comic strips, etc., most of our lives? It's kind of amazing to think that these changes that China is embarking on, if not executing, are really, truly global game changers. No. When we look at the internet, there are a lot of uh, social media users being asking questions uh, on uh, social, mm -hmm. uh, on the nuclear fusion issue and, and why ITER has been taking the lead. Let's t take a look at what some of them have been saying. Well, Eva yep. uh, Malunova said that the question is, what is the environmental effect if there is a failure or terrorist attack? How dangerous it is? if there is an explosion, I guess this is explosion. And, and people maybe don't understand quite well how a nuclear fusion reactor works and what it might uh, imply if there is an accident or, or, or attack. Oh, it's, uh, it's a little bit difficult to explain like this without a drawing, but basically one of the main major advantages of fusion is that um, the amount of material that you are manipulating in order to do the reaction, to fuse deuterium and tritium, which are both isotopes of hydrogen, this amount of material is always extremely small. In the volume of, uh, of the ITER machine, of the plasma of the ITER machine, which is something like 1,000 cubic meters, there will be something like one gram of uh, reactants. Okay? So, whatever happens, uh, the, the, the reaction never explodes, never diverges, okay? The reaction, whatever happens, the reaction, the, the worst that can happen is that the reaction stops, mm. okay? So in case So there is a, a no chance attack, that Chernobyl uh, disaster would no, happen no. on a nuclear fusion reactor. No, absolutely not. So even in the worst uh, situation and even if if you something we cannot imagine at the moment whatever uh, destruction of the facility that would come from outside or even from inside uh, uh, the amount of ma nuclear nuclear material that would be released in the atmosphere even if we have uh, all the uh, barriers uh, one two three barriers uh, that are the usual uh, things we are doing in nuclear uh, industry even if the worst of the worst cases, some grams of material would be released in the atmosphere. Okay, so it's nothing to do with fission reactors, which store in the in the reactor itself tons of material that can uh, that are uh, consumed uh, as time goes on. Okay, so it's uh, it's intrinsically safe in that sense and intrinsically mm. clean. Of course, this is nuclear material. So by so nature, nuclear fusion exactly is much safer than nuclear fission. Yes, yes. 